I'm Astia Gabra Christos from ICRA. I'm pleased that uh, our project, uh, Sustainable Tree Crop Livestock Intensification, uh, as a pillar for the Ethiopian Green Economy Initiative, has been selected uh, by USAID and ERIC, the main coordinators. And um, yeah, as you know, uh, in Ethiopia, the main problem is land degradation, soil fertility, lack of fodder, lack of fuel, and uh, many others. So, trees will play a big role on farm and the landscape. And in fact, the government uh, has initiated an innovative approach, this uh, green, uh, climate resilient green economy initiative. Uh, uh, trees on farm, on landscape, they play a big role. They are source of fuel wood. They are source of fodder. They are source of fuel wood. I mean, uh, nutrient, water cycle. Uh, they maintain uh, soil cover throughout the year. And they are source of timber for house. And in Ethiopia, they are the main source of energy. And in fact, farmers in Ethiopia, they use manure, you know, for fuel. They don't put it on farm. And the, the yield is uh, very low and there is no source of fodder because they use it for fuel. So trees are really important on farm and landscape and they, uh, they are very important part of this sustainable intensification. Uh, because uh, the well-being well -being of uh, uh, the Ethiopian people and the environment is related to natural resources and agriculture, the government has launched an innovative approach, this uh, green uh, economy uh, initiative. Climate Resilient Green Economy Initiative, and the government has asked ICRA uh, to underpin this program on this natural resource management and watershed management. And we are pleased that this project has been really launched at this time, and uh, uh, that USAID also recognizes uh, uh, sustainable intensification as a means to to uh, solve this uh, poverty in Ethiopia. So, uh, this program is uh, as a basis for this five years program. And in these six months, in this small project, we would like to achieve four objectives, actually. The first is we would like to document about the local knowledge, farmers' preference, what are the success stories, if there are success stories, for example. We would uh, like to see successful uh, areas like Integrai, Wollo, Nazareth, and we would like to document how and where are they successful. And other areas are not with the landscape. And we would like to know why, why not. The second is to, uh, to uh, recommend best bait trees, tree species and management options, including controlled grazing system. As I say, this will be uh, linked to objective number one, this local knowledge. And the third one is uh, need assessment of tree seeds and seedling supply system, which is critical, you know. How the tree seed, how do the farmers access to seed and seedlings? How the value chain? How the maintenance after planting? In fact, we would like to participate also in this 2012 tree planting campaign to see uh, practically about the tree seed and seedling supply system. And uh, this will be uh, done uh, with local partners, FRC and uh, uh, AIR. And the fourth is uh, about stakeholders meeting. After having knowledge about local uh, people's knowledge, this uh, three species and management options, we would like to hear also from the higher level about policy. So we would like to invite international and national partners and we'll have one day national dialogue here at IRI. IRI will be the main uh, responsible organizer for this. And uh, yeah, this will uh, give us a basis for the five year project. In fact, this is six, six months, but it's really critical. And uh, I would like to thank uh, USAID and IRI for taking the initiative.